Hello class, this is section 4.2. In this video, we are going to solve a simple non-homogeneous system using the techniques we've learned before. Non-homogeneous systems are actually slightly more difficult since we have to worry about the right-hand side non-homogeneous term too. I've gone ahead and uh, already switched the system into the linear operator D notation. So let's try to eliminate the y term first. So we can see that the y term in both equations has a d squared in it, so we can just subtract one equation from the other. That's pretty straightforward. So equation 1 minus equation 2. So we just subtract the two x terms of d squared plus 1 minus d squared minus 1 applied to x. And the y terms cancel, of course. And here is the step that students always forget. For a non-homogeneous system, you have to remember to subtract the right-hand side as well. So you see there's a 2e minus t for the first equation and a 0 for the second equation, and we're subtracting them. So the right-hand side needs to have a 2e minus t minus 0 as well. And this equation, of course, simplifies to just 2x equals 2e minus t, and therefore x equals e minus t, which is a very straightforward answer for the x equation. Now remember that when we were solving homoge homogeneous systems, the x and y equation was always the same. This is always true for homogeneous equations, and but this is not true for non-homogeneous equations. So we do actually have to calculate both the x equation and the y equation. So let's try to figure out how to get the y equation by eliminating x. So you can see that the first equation is the d squared plus 1 by the x, and the second equation is the d squared minus 1. So we need to multiply the first equation by d squared minus 1, so d squared minus 1 times the first equation. And we subtract that with d squared plus 1 times the second equation. And what do we get? Um, the x terms cancel, and we just get d squared minus 1 times, let's see, d squared for a y, d squared y minus d squared plus 1 times d squared, because of d squared in the second equation 2, times y equals, now here's the part that the students forget. Remember that you have to do this for the right hand side as well. So the right-hand side here has a 2e minus t, so we have to do that. So d squared minus 1 times 2e minus t minus d squared plus 1. But the right-hand side for the second equation is the 0, so we can just put a 0 here. All right, and this cancels, of course. Now um, this becomes, if you calculate it, this becomes minus 2d squared y equals to d squared times 2e minus t minus 2e minus t. So d squared 2e minus t is the same thing as differentiating e minus t twice. So we differentiate that once. Um, d dt 2e minus t uh, minus 2e minus t. But this that derivative is just going to be d times 2 minus e minus t minus 2e minus t. We differentiate, differentiate that again, and we get 2e minus t minus 2e minus t. And that gets you 0. All right, so our second equation is just going to be minus 2y double prime equals 0 which means that y double prime equals 0. And this means that y equals to c1t plus c2. So this is our solution, y equals c1t plus c2, and x equals e minus t. So we have two constants, and this was a degree 2 equation, so order two, an order 2 equation. So we actually do have the appropriate number of constants. We don't have to do any more work. If you end up with too many constants, and this often happens using this method, you can just do what we did in the previous video, 
and just plug in the x and y's to one of these equations and eliminate the extraneous constants.